Hey, Dr. Mark Testa here. In today's video, I want to talk about ketosis. What's all this talk about ketosis? What does it even mean? And why do I care about it? Why should you care about it? I share tips like this all the time. If you want to get more health and wellness tips like this, please subscribe below. But let's get into it. What is ketosis? Ketosis is when our body goes from burning glucose or sugar to burning fat as fuel. Now this doesn't just happen automatically. There's a few steps in the process that need to occur. Number one, we've got to have declining um, levels of glucose floating around in our blood. And how do we do that? We do that by not eating all the time. When we eat 12, 13, 14, 15 hours a day, which many, many people do, as shown by the research out of the Salk Institute, our blood glucose nev levels never come down. They always stay artificially elevated because we're eating all the time. And so what happens is that stored energy, uh, that energy, that excess energy then gets stored and it gets stored as fat. Now there's a couple uh, hormones at play here too, insulin and glucagon. Let's talk about insulin for a minute. Insulin moves the sugar into the cell to be burned as fuel. When it can't be burned as fuel, then it gets stored. And it gets stored in various places. It gets stored in our belly fat, it gets stored in our liver, it gets stored in our pancreas, and it just gets stored. So if we're eating all the time, we're keeping glucose levels high, that means insulin levels are high, and when the body can't use all that energy, then it gets stored as fat. So how do we get to ketosis? We get to ketosis by fasting. Even 12 hours is a great place to start. Really just overnight and our body will slowly move into ketosis. It takes a couple hours to burn all the glucose floating around in our blood and then you know another 10 hours or so to burn all of the stored glucose as glycogen stored largely in our muscles and our liver before our body starts to look for another fuel source, namely fat. Now this is where the second hormone comes into place, glucagon. Glucagon is the hormone that goes and gets the energy from the fat and brings it to the liver to be turned into ketone bodies, which the body can use as fuel. And so if insulin levels are constantly high, glucagon levels can never come up to move that fat. They just work in opposite. So they have to, insulin has to be low for glucagon to be high. In order for glucagon to be high, we need to not be eating all of the time. I'm a big fan of intermittent fasting for this reason. And even if it's 12, 13, 14 hours, even just overnight, you're gonna benefit from that because you're gonna start to get the body um, trained, for lack of a better word, to balance out these two hormones and to get them more sensitive and working properly and working in relationship to each other. So as you fast overnight and you're not eating uh, for 12 hours or so, glucagon levels are going to increase and start going to look for fat as fuel. Now, Again, if you want to fast for longer periods of time, you might need to work with someone, but that's when insulin levels really stay low, glucagon levels go very high, and maintain this consistent fat burning. This leads to ketosis and the burning of fat as fuel. The brain loves to use it, the body can use it, ketone bodies are good for the GI tract, butyrate uh, is one of the ketone bodies produced, and so we only get there through walking through the desert of no food. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be as hard as it sounds. Start with a 12 hour overnight fast, be done eating three hours before bed, you'll probably sleep better. I hope this was helpful, useful, I tried to make it very simple. If you um, like this, give me a like, please share it with someone, and I ask you, please subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Have a great day, we'll see you in the next video.